Hello there. This is Goblin Marine again, back with the Windy City Warmongers game. This time it's Season 11, Game 1. Once again, I'm up against Ultra 124, Crazy 124's Gold Blood Knights. So, last season he beat me with this stupid diving tackle peasant. This season I'm going to try not to let that happen. So, he won. Um, he has the fame. I have to kick to him. So, this team, I trimmed a thrower who had block, leader, and fend. I decided that fend was the wrong skill. I needed Hail Mary pass or something like it, so I trimmed him. I also had a goblin that had big hand and was not as good a retriever as Yield Weebang with IG4. So I trimmed that goblin to save 20 TV. Down to two rerolls. I induced an extra apo with the intent of possibly power appoing this game, depending on how it goes. So I kick. Nice weather. It's a shallow kick. So his team is really good. He's got this agi up, mighty blow, tackle guy who is lined up to hit a goblin with a three die. Great. Uh, this is sidestep, not tackle, but it's a blodge step. Uh, I also, this game, last game I played him, I forgot about sidestep and got in trouble. That happens again this game, though it's far less relevant. He has a couple guard players. Uh, strength up strip. So I know I need to carry. I can't be carrying it on anybody except my throwers. But I still have my amazing runner, who is extra arms, two heads, uh, movement up, blodge. He's just great. So I'll review my team a little after this in a separate video. Okay. Immediately tackle doing work. Not going to leave the pitch. Good. Marks with the peasant, because of course. So this immediately tells me that he wants to get this guy the ball. Um, potentially. I'm not sure why with the movement broken he's caging him. Maybe he's trying to protect him from my killer. And I misread it. But I thought that... See, he's, he's caged up. So I think potentially he's coming this way. Because of the agi guy. He makes the 1 and 9. Comes central. I think... This guy comes, yeah, he blitzes the goblin and then comes out here somewhere. Yeah. Pow. So, the goblin's held up pretty well, and I forget where this guy goes. Okay. So, what I'm trying to do here, I think... I'm worried about this being where he's trying to go. I see that he has less guys over here, so I'd like to get the troll here to stall out the cage a little bit. And, and pull some players. So I have to get somebody on the troll to push him there. I'd like to take a hit on this player if I can. And I'd like to get a goblin through. Or possibly this guy's going to be my retriever. Snicket. He's got Russell and two heads. Eventually, tackle's probably next. Or not tackle. Strip is next. Unless he rolls doubles, in which case it's dodge. But he's, he's set up with two heads to be a little bit more agile. A little bit more uh, maneuverable than most of my other rats. I'd like to see him maybe go around, but he's on the wrong side, so maybe not. I also have Snead Venom, who is my uh, safety. And what's that guy's name? Morphail Scuttle, who is my developing killer. As soon as Morphail has Tackle and Palm, you know, I, I don't think he needs horns, but as soon as he has Tackle and Palm, I have to fire Snillich, because six movement has messed me up too many times. Okay, Pow. Follow up. And hold on. Pause right there. So, armor 8. I roll an 8. I've already used Mighty Blow. Or no. Yeah, I've already used Mighty... No, 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 because Claw worked. So, I don't use Mighty Blow yet. I need an 8 plus I get an 8. I get a stun. This is typically where I will pile on. Because I got a stun. I still have Mighty Blow. Uh, and he's taking a hit next turn. If I don't pile on because he can't get away... I roll a four both times. So now I want to protect him a little. So I think I put somebody here. Maybe I don't. I'm trying to stall the cage. He comes out here. And he's going to go up here just to put some pressure on the ball. So that was, that was interesting because that guy has two heads. 
and dodge. So this guy is quite maneuverable. Except for passing, he's he's at G4. Alright, so he's running away from this guy. He's movement 8, by the way. He's going to push this goblin off, and, I, and then he goes for a fat, meaty gang foul, which is what you should do. Um, at this point in the match, when he pulls off this foul, I'll wait until it happens. Alright, so now, smartly, he's advancing the cage-like thing. I think he leaves them on the troll. He might even... I don't think he goes for a one-die with them. I think he just leaves them. So he fouls, right? And this is going to be a removal. So, pow! Injured. Okay. MNG. I re-roll into a 5 plus 3, which I think is another broken something or other. He's out next game. I'm glad I've got two Athos, because this is turn two, and he's out on a foul. Uh, usually, he's been foul-proof, so it was kind of his time. Uh, at this point, I said, fuck you to Grazy in chat. Not, despite the way the rest of this game goes, this was not an anger. This was a playful one, because he made a good play and made me pay for this. Uh, absolutely the right move. No hard feelings if he's watching this. Uh, that one had no hard feelings in it. The rest of this game is full of salt. But this moment, no salt right now. Uh, I forgot the smiley emoji with it, I suppose. Okay, so he committed a lot down here. I'm feeling good because I can get to the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? So with eight, I can get here on a two plus dodge. Then the plan is to use this guy. One, two, two, three, four, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine. So it's a two plus, two plus, because this is not the diving tackle, two plus, two plus for a two die with wrestle. That's the play here. Uh, if you've watched some of my other videos a few days ago, I've, I've been going over my rel games where I just lose time and time again for not being aggressive enough at the ball. This is the play on the ball. It's a two die with a couple two plus dodges. One of which has a reroll, the other which I'll devote the team reroll to to make sure it happens. So it, it, it's a couple two pluses and a GFI, I think. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, one, two, three, yeah. yeah. I might even go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm not sure exactly how I do it, but it's a play on the ball. Uh, I will be right back. And we're back. Sorry about that. All right, so it's a, it's a play on the ball. So let's see how this goes. Okay, base the ball. And I have to move him because I put him in my way, I think. Nope. So, oh, I'm even going to hit him with the troll. That's what it was. I made it easier by using the troll. Okay, I got to use the reroll. Oh boy, that wasn't declared as a blitz. So at this point, I'm really mad. I swear that I declared the blitz. Uh, and I might have changed the pathing or something, but no blitz. Uh, so I'm, after this, I'm just a salt monster. I am so pissed off about that. Look at that, 2 plus 2 plus. That's awesome. Uh, but I'm just salty as hell about this. Uh, I'm pretty sure I was playing around with pathing there. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just an idiot. But I was salty as hell at this, and I was on full tilt now. So the rest of this game... Uh, the dice are mean to me, but I'm also on tilt. So I'm going to try and see what I could have done better, given that I was tilting hard. Because uh, it's unlikely that, despite that mistake, it's unlikely I was out of the game at this point. Uh, you know, I've still got two guys on the ball. He still has to essentially blitz away. And this guy's easy to get away. He's got a 2-plus dodge with, with dodge. He dodges on 2-pluses in his wrestle. So it's still... I'm still in this at this point. Okay. Pow. 
he gets free, but it's not a it's not an armor break. And now he's gonna get him the ball. I don't know why he didn't do it. He should have gotten him the ball and run away. And then this is the only guy. Well, I guess that's a two pull. A, but he doesn't have okay. Crazy, if you're watching this, this was a mistake. You should have gotten the ball to Gaston Friedrich Ivan, Ivan, and he should have been gone because the only guy who can reach him, uh, maybe this guy could have reached him. So, so maybe, maybe not. Maybe you couldn't protect it from all of my players, but I think it was a mistake not giving him the ball and running downfield. Maybe you don't want to score early. I, I don't know. I feel like it was a mistake not giving him the ball, though, now. Because it's not that protected. And I can get my troll over there. Okay. Here's my blitz on this diving tackle peasant, because I hate him. Pow! Mighty blow hit on peasant. Armor break! Yes! Now I'm going to take a two die on him. Push. That's fine. Sidestep. Oops. I forgot again, but it's okay. I still got tackle on him. Snakes. So this is that's the second time in a row I fail a stunty dodge. And it's starting to feel like a bit of a nuffling uh, on that. Right? I know snakes happen, but I already had a misclick. I already had a double two on a stunty dodge result in... A, that may or may not have been the KO. I don't remember. Dauntless works. Knocks him down. But the troll still took three guys. So it's a troll being a troll. That's fine. But note, I did the stunty first because I, I was going to do more. And then I wanted to get these two guys relevant. Now, it, did, it didn't matter. It was snakes. So it's not like the two pluses on these guys would have been any different. But, all right. I use wrestle because I don't want to get hurt. Now he's going after my runner. But I still have an apo if I need it. He doesn't have tackle. Woohoo! All right. So... Blodge is good, guys. Okay, now he's going to punch him again. Uh, doesn't get him, which is here. Really, this guy really needs sidestep for his legend skill. That would be amazing. Okay. Don't do it. Okay. God, I hate this, this stupid system. All right. Let's go ahead and let that stupid guy... Oh, so that goblin's here. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's no good. One, two, three, four, five. Probably here. Anyway, this guy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, can become relevant again. He can dodge away and become relevant again. This isn't diving tackle. Diving tackle peasants on his butt, so that's good. Probably, probably the troll is left to his own devices. Um, For two GFIs and a three plus two plus, I could put him that Skaven thrower down here. Uh, but this guy has mighty blow, and I'm at AV seven, so that's scary. One, two, three, four, five, six. I could also get him there with two GFIs. The dodge is a two plus, so that's pretty scary. One, two, three. So he he, this goblin could get there with a three with a three plus with ta with a dodge. And then stand up. So I've got options to activate the troll. I'd like to activate him. I don't know if I do. Let's see how this goes. Okay. All right. Oh, okay, I was going to base him. So that, that was the play. I was going to base him. Um, and I'm not sure after that. It might have been a blitz here to get him off. And then base also. But snakes again. This is where it really feels like a nuffling. So I failed a 3 plus, 3 plus, which is a 1 and 9. Fine. Then I failed two 1 and 36s in a row. So Nuffle does not want me competing this half. And I'm already on tilt over what is either a misclick or, or a complete brain fart, right? So at this point, I'm basically swearing off Blood Bowl because of the season that I just went through in Rel. That was just painful and brutal and bad play. I finally feel like I'm making the better decisions and I'm getting screwed by the dice. And that just happens. That's Blood Bowl. But I was not in a psychological position to handle it. So, Grazy, sorry for all the salt, man, but this, this, this was mentally a bad game for me. 
gets the pow, so he's not going to get surfed at least. Stunned, so he's probably not going to foul him. And there's no way I'm catching this ball. So this is going to come down to probably one of these goblins and this troll attempting a throw teammate. Foul on the tr Oh, foul on the other killer. Stun. So, more fail scuttle appears to have absorbed the stomp proofing of Snillich, which is fine. I'd rather keep the new guy safe. Okay, so hold on. What was that? That was an immediate turnover. Okay. Three, three snakes in a row. That's how talented I am this game. Three snakes in a row. So, I don't know. When you're already on tilt, that kind of thing makes you just want to throw things against... At this point, I, I wanted to throw my mouse. Like, I'm just frustrated to hell. Um, I'm not even sure what the play was. Let me go back. Okay. So, let's go... Again, I wish there was a slightly better way to do this. All right. And this goblin. One, two, three. Okay. We'll have to see where it goes. And he goes here. Here. Okay. So what am I trying? So this is right where the foul happens. What am I trying to do? I don't know why I did that first. I don't understand why I would do that first. Of all the things to do first, because I have a one die. For, for, for a two plus two plus, I have a one die. For a three plus two plus two plus, I have a two die on the ball. Yeah, so the play was take this goblin here, which, again, would have failed because of the snakes, but that's not the right goblin to do it. I was probably just getting him away, because he's, he's now fouling any piece he's got access to. I was probably getting him away to get closer to the ball in case I could knock it free. I'm not sure why I picked that goblin to act first. Again, it doesn't matter what I do. It's snakes. Um, I'm not sure where he was going, but the right play is the 3 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus, for a, a two two die on the ball, uh, no re rolls. I've burned all my re rolls with snakes galore, but that's the play that I should have been going for. Troll fails. That's fine. That was my first move because I wanted. There's no failure. Yep. Okay. One, two, three. Maybe I was trying to push this peasant. I don't. I don't really know what I was trying to do. That's not smart. Whatever it was. Okay, so he stalls, because the only thing that can reach him is a goblin. Does that guy have blodge? It's not a blodge ball carrier. So, stunned again. So again, at this point, I'm not out of the game. And he's going to blitz the goblin. With mighty blow and tackle. Gets the pow, doesn't matter if it's tackle. KO'd, that's fine. I don't really care about KO'd goblins. Like, they'll they'll come back. And I have to save this other one in case my other good player... Like, so the, the players on this team that have Apo rights are Obsolich, Snillich, um, Snade Venom, Snicket, and Weebang. So that, that's a lot of players. Look at that! Look at that garbage. Another one. So, you know, at this point, I've rolled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones in a row or something. Like, this is just garbage. All right, so let's let's go into the dice log. One, two, three, four, five. If I go up in the dice log, which you won't let me do, I've got two more 
waiting up there. Well, I guess the troll rolled a two. So I guess it wasn't all ones. But that's pretty bad. Okay. Kick. Stun. So, I'm getting lucky on these fouls. They're all coming up stuns. But the armor rolls are all just busting me up. So, I'm not even going to try now. I don't think. Oh, I will be right. And I'm back. Okay. So, he's obviously stalling until turn 8. Because there's no reason not to at all. Uh, it would be dumb of him not to. And I blitz the peasant. And screw it. I picked the skull because, no. I'm just over this game. That was an intentional one. That was not a misclick. That was me wanting to get this guy off the pitch and just concede the game. Which is terrible. Uh, terribly tilty. But it didn't matter. It was a peasant, so it didn't really mean anything at all. And he scores. So, now it's one turn touchdown time. Or an attempt at one. And... Oops. Yeah. Uh, stupid dog down! Ah. Alright, so it's one turn touchdown time. Or attempt at it. You know, that's just how things go. Alright, so, you know, this is pretty standard stuff. Uh, this isn't a bad setup to try and make the, the landing hard, but it's not the best. One, two, three, four, five. Oop, smoke detector's still low battery. So, you know, somewhere in here, like, I don't think I can get over this, but we'll see. Let's see where the kick goes. Oh, sorry about that. My dogs hate when the smoke detector goes off, so I have this thing keeping me company. This is our little dog. So, he has PTSD from smoke detectors, so. Alright, quick snap. Great. What do I do? Uh, fail the catch, and now I need two GFIs with that wonderful, amazing scatter. So, punch with Mighty Blow. Hey oh, Yes, I'm back in it. If I get enough removals, I could be back in it. Because I'm only... Well, I got two KOs out. Stay down. Alright, push. So he's going to punch him. With Russell. Get him. Stun. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. It's not great. It's not the end of the world. Oh no! Another one! So hold on. That string earlier was a 2 plus on a 3 plus, followed by a 2 plus on the reroll. So it was 2 2, 1 1 1 1, 2 1 1 1. That was a string of bad rolls. And except for the, there was a 2 plus in there that was on a 4 plus, so that was fine. But it was 2 on a 3 plus, 2 on a 3 plus, 1 on a 2 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 plus, 2 on a 4 plus, which was just meh. 1 on a 2 plus, 1 on a 2 plus, 1 on a 2 plus. And now I just got another 1. So. Clearly, Nuffles mad at me for trying to improve. I'm not really sure uh, why this is going that way. It happens, but I was incredibly salty. But I realized that look, it's it's only zero to one. It's I, this game is still tieable. I'm not down that many players. I've got two out. He's got one out, but I think he's at eleven. Yeah, he's at eleven. I'm at ten. Uh, eleven. So we're even on men. Uh, I still have a killer. It's not my main killer, but a killer. I have plenty of blocking skills still out here. I've got my good goblin. I'm still in this right now. Okay, so I'm going to set up for him. I set up wrong here. That was dumb. Uh, but I get him. And probably I follow this. No, okay. I leave him exposed. That's, that's not good. Uh, I get the pow with the troll, and I'm going to follow. Because... 
Oh, no, I can't because of Fend. Ah, oh, Fend! But that's okay. I can still take. So, I want to score quickly and then play defense. Uh, because that worked out so well for me. But, yeah. Okay, so I take the Blitz with a Mighty Blow. Pow! Got him. Yes! Where's he go? Nothing. But I'm, I'm still in this. I'm making up ground. All right. I'm in a decent position. Where's his stupid diving tackle player? Back here. He defends that diving tackle peasant, and that's that's a good move on his part. Uh, that player will just maul goblins up, down, and sideways. Ah, you know that's just how it goes. No, buddy, I know, I know. Okay. So, you know, he's doing things to screen me off. And... Uh, yeah, so he, a tackle hit on the goblin, I'm assuming that was. Which is, again, good play. Yeah, because that goblin was here. So, he's trying to screen me off. This is good, because that goblin can't get out. He's, he's locked there, and he's going to get a hit on him next turn. Um, this, I don't know, because I can blitz him. With the killer. And it's it's one, two, three, four, five. So I can I can get in and out with the killer. That's what you want with these with these killers. Is you want to hit and get back behind your screen, which I made the mistake of early on, turn one or two, not doing that. Turn one, I guess it was. Uh, which is awesome to lose my killer turn two to a foul when I misplay turn one. But you know. That's why I don't usually pile on with him, is because I get punished when I do. So I'm trying to advance, you know, I'm trying to make up some ground, make up some time, and ideally hurt some players. Okay, just a push there, that's fine, and then he's going to come back. So he's trying to screen, and I'm trying to use this down player to my advantage, uh, you know, to, to make it harder to get around. He's going to come back here, and he's going to go in the screen. Uh, this isn't really going to go anywhere because he's got plenty of movement, you know? I'm, I'm just posturing. Okay, so there's another one, but this time I had a five behind it. So I got a nice little screen here. The troll and the goblin, and this, I don't like him there. That's no good. Um... I have already activated the troll. He's not stupid. The, well, no. Okay, so I see what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a, I miss, I miss, miss uh, spoke. Him and him, these two goblins, Booty Be Gone the Third, or Booty Be Gone and Wooless, Wooless, with Soaring Bottom, create a nice screen, right? So they can't get through here to get at my rat or Weebang. So I've screened off all my important players. Using a stunned player to my advantage. So, just like vampires have to learn to use stunned players, this is something you have to learn how to do sometimes. Is He's out, but that goblin, Soaring Bottom, is still useful right now. So, that's a, that's a I need to pay more attention to that, because a stun does not always make a, a goblin worthless. Also... Look at this garbage. The one time this game I've had to try and get away from diving tackle, maybe one time. I got a five. Uh, pay attention to that. That'll be that'll be relevant later. Oh, and then I snake it. I believe I made a comment about go figure that I would make the hard one and snake the easy one. And it's into an injury, not even a removal, not even just a stun or an armor break. He, he didn't just go down. He went down and got agi busted. So that goblin is fired. Junior Pumpkin Bum, I'm on, I will now be on Pumpkin Bum the third. So, you know, that's awesome. Sorry. The wife is out of town at the moment. Yeah, so um, 
He's trying to pin me in. I'm really just trying to work back and forth to see about getting a break. And at some point, the plan is, and this is a terrible plan, but with Underworld, sometimes it's all you got. The plan is to break through with goblins and this guy and pass if I can't do anything else. It may even be a punt play out here just to keep me from getting it turned over. But the goal is to break through somewhere, is to make him accidentally leave me a hole for my stunties. And it's, again, it's not good play because you got all of the stupidity that is animosity, right? Like, that'll bite you. But the plan is usually either to find a way to get him out of position or to find a stunty hole. So that was smart of him. He put guard in here because I was standing right behind it. And he gets another removal. So, like, this... The only high rolls I have this game are on my freaking armor rolls, right? right? So that is important to note later on in this game. So I probably should have taken the pushes there. That was dumb. And then I have to take both down him. So now I'm just, now I'm screwed, right? So I re-rolled that block, which I should have accepted the pushes. I got a both down in the skull. I have to take the both down. He wrestles me. The ball is exposed. I'm, this is in Blodge We Trust, and there's nothing else going on here. It's in Blodge We Trust, like, full stop. Push, okay, that helps. Now there's a hole, but I can't exploit it. Uh, where's Diving Tackle? Back to be the safety. So he loves this Diving Tackle safety because of Fend. If that guy rolls another double, I would absolutely take Sidestep. Uh, because then you have a Strength 3 Sidestep diving tackle player and you take block on it and well maybe yeah i think you have to take i think you have to you can't take dodge all right so tackle important use this tackle on the ball carrier because the ball carrier has blodge so graze is a really good player i'll give it i have to give him that he is a good player he knows what he's doing uh i hate this team he's it's really good i hate it um, also, I absolutely hate Snowich. I hate him right now. Um, the only season he did any good for me was one where I went to the playoffs and his friend got busted. Look at that! More snakes! I'm gonna push, and I'm gonna run away. So, here's the play. The play is to free him up, right, and get out here somewhere. Next, he has tackle, so this is a bit rowdy. But I'm a two plus away with Obsolage, right? This guy has tackle. So he's going to come over here. Weebang is going to snatch it because Weebang don't care that you got tackle zones on it. So it's a two plus, two plus, two plus to pick it up with Weebang. I burned my reroll, but that's like a 50% play. It's a 125 out of 216, which is better than 50% for, for Weebang to get this ball. So he's out, right? The play is to get the ball and then Stunty pass it up here somewhere. But I fail the first one, right? So that was a 50% play, you know, better than 50%. It was something like 60% play-ish, and I failed it. Uh, so, so that's just how this game goes. You know, it's a lot of failed plays that should not necessarily have failed, but sometimes that happens. And another removal. So, you know, you know, this absolutely is not going my way. And I, I've calmed down a little bit. I'm still on tilt, but I've calmed down a little bit here. Uh, that kind of brought it back. Yep, and that's good play, just to get it away. Uh, that was not tackle, so he's going to be fine. And Blitz on Snade Venom. Pushes. Urgh. So all in all, I'm definitely he's definitely going to score again. Uh, and he doesn't have to leave me any time. Right? So he doesn't, he doesn't have to give me a shot at this. Uh, except that I have a lot of players who can make it annoying on him. So probably it's a killer Blitz. And then this Goblin's going to run up. 
to put some pressure on the ball. And that's fine. I'll take that push. And he's probably going to come over here somewhere. Yeah. Um, and he's going to come around. Oh, no. He's going to run down, too, and be down here. So now this is a fair bit of pressure, right? Like, this guy's somewhat dangerous. This guy's really dangerous. This goblin can get the ball if I get it. Uh, he didn't want to take a mighty blow hit. I'd have taken that mighty blow hit there. I stomp because no. KO. All right, so now I'm starting to do good things. Starting to get some... some. That's fine. That was a three plus anyway. That's fine. I'm starting to get a little bit of, of headwind. It's way too late in the game for it to matter. Uh, he's got two out. I've got five out. I had 13. I think he had 12. So I, I think I am down on players. But I've got pressure on the ball. It's dangerous for him to be here. Probably. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to take a three die with tackle. And then he's going to score. And I know that because I know what happens in this game. Because I just played this last night. And I still remember it. Okay. So uh, he decides that probably he can't keep me away, which maybe he could have, but he scores. Okay. Nobody gets up on either team. Five people. Oh, it skips it. Five people roll less than a four to get up. All right. So I have options. It's two. It's, it's a two turn, so I don't have to go for the throw. So I'm not gonna because that's like a 15% play and you risk getting eaten. Uh, and also, he's got a nice anti-throw setup there. I can't go, go through any of these tackle zones. So, depending on the scatter, I could just be in trouble. So, I don't. Blitz! Uh, at this point, I said, of course, that's what happens. Uh, but he decides he's going to stick with it. All right. So, we're going to try and maul some peasants, because I hate peasants. Boom! All right. So, now I've got some room to play. Right now, I can go forward. My goal here uh, is to get everyone as far forward as I can. So he's going to blitz him off, and then he's going to run downfield. And this is one of the things that seven. Oh, why didn't he run down? Oh no, 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 because no, I want to stay on the ball. That's right. The troll has to hit him, and then this this goblin's going to go downfield. Okay. The troll hits him. Push. Can't follow. He is going to finish the screen. So I have two scoring threats, right? He's going to come pick up the ball. And then run back into the screen. So this is this is not well protected. But he can't score. I mean, he can score. But it's going to be really rough. Because he's got two players who are technically in range. And they're not the players you want in range. Uh, and I have this guy. And this guy. And this guy. We've got more Phil Scuttle, Snead Venom, and Obsolich to run him down. Uh, in particular, Obsolich is going to be hard to pin down. So, scoring's unlikely. This is okay. My goal is to pop one of these guys through, through some, like, stupid 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus stuff, because Nuffle owes me the dice right now. He owes me! Uh, that's not what's going to happen. So, he sets up on him. I think he gets... Pushes. Oh no, he's going to take a three die on the goblin again, which is smart. He keeps taking these three die tackle hits on the goblins. It's it's really smart, honestly. Pushes. Rerolls. Two pows. I'll take you wasting pows on that. See, it would have been funny if he'd stepped here to like reverse cage this guy. So he's setting up a pass defense. Like, he doesn't want me to be able to pass over this stuff. And he's protecting his players. He doesn't want me to blitz them with, with more fail scuttle. All right. So, all right. Here's the play. Hand off to him. <laughs> Diving tackle. <laughs> this is going to be great. Five plus, is that right? One, two, three. Hmm. This guy's going to dodge through. And then I'm going to try and throw it to him. That's the only... I mean, I can blitz with him. Oh, it's a push play. Yeah. So, this was smart. I stunty dodge. I pack here with 
yields Nad Ven Venom. Morphale Scuttle blitzes him, pushes him up, so it's two dodges to get into the end zone. And they are a 3+, plus, 2+, plus, uh, with Diving Tackle, which is garbage. All right, let's go. So I sat here and thought for a minute, and then I saw this play, and it felt like the right one. That's not good, but it's fine. So it's not the push play. The push play fails. 6 plus, 5 plus, 4 plus. All game, I have rolled snakes on two pluses. I'm in diving tackle. I have to dodge one, two, three times next to diving tackle. And somehow, don't even need the reroll for that. It's okay, though. Nuffle kicks me in the balls coming up. All right, so handoff. It's a two plus. Yes. All right. And I'm going to run. Now, I don't know. Okay. All right. So, this, I know, is the next passing zone, but it's two GFIs away. I don't know if one GFI buys me a better pass. I should have checked that. Um, because if it does, I have a three plus, and then whatever was coming up next instead on the pass. Because the 2 plus would have made the GFI. So a better decision here is probably to GFI and throw just to get the 2 out of the dice log. But I didn't know that at the time. The smart thing to do here if you're crazy is to surf the shit out of this rat. I don't know if that's what he does. But that's what I would do. Mm, nope. He's going after the goblin. That's not even... I mean... The rats... Well... I guess the goblin gives us PP and the rat doesn't. But I'd have gone after the rat. So that's the end of this game. I think he goes for a vanity pass. I don't remember if he makes it or not. To him. Uh, he does make it. And that's game. So good game to Grazy. Uh, you played well. Like I said on Discord, you played far better than you needed to with the dice that I got. Uh, so let's go here. Uh, statistics. Maritime marinated neat. Where are... No, dice rolls. Dodges. 50%. Now keep in mind, I have a lot of players that dodge on a 2+. plus. I've got a two-headed goblin. I've got an agi-up goblin. I've got a two-headed rat with dodge. All those players have dodge. 50%. And he used diving tackle, I think... No, he didn't... Diving tackle didn't go off that game. And I had a 50% dodge rate. All of these fours, fives, and sixes, I swear, were in the were in the armor rolls. So, um, I guess I'll catch you next time. That was a good game, Grazy. I'm sorry for all the salt. You played well. No hard feelings when I was swearing at you. That was the right thing to do. I totally approve of that foul. Um, see you later.